Errol Burnett is outside a U.S. Postal Service hub in New York City. And Errol, I know yesterday I saw a UPS store on the Upper East Side. The line was wrapped all around the corner. What's it like there? Oh, yeah, it's the same, Jamie. Busy, busy, busy. We're outside one of the most frenetic distribution centers in the country. And today is really like their Super Bowl. Consider the challenges right now. The pandemic is ravaging the country. Vaccine distribution is underway and there are record online orders taking place. So for them, they're doing what they can on what very well could be the Postal Service's most daunting challenge ever. In a year unlike any other, the race for shippers to deliver packages to homes and businesses nationwide is reaching its pinnacle. Everybody understands that their people have been doing a lot more online shopping, that the delivery system is flooded with packages. The U.S. Postal Service is getting hit hard, shipping millions more items a day than average, partially due to shipping caps at UPS and FedEx. In the first week of December, first class on-time deliveries fell to just 75%. I'm worried about the U.S. postal system. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, hopefully it will improve and they'll figure it out. What is it like to be a postal worker right now? Well, it's uh, it's daunting. Mark Dimenstein is the president of the American Postal Workers Union, representing a third of the more than 644,000 postal service employees. In addition to deliveries, he says, more than 6,000 workers have tested positive for COVID in just the last week. With all of that, uh, we're still out here like all, all other essential workers. Should people brace themselves and expect that things may be a little late this week? I, I think in some situations, people uh, will be disappointed that the gifts uh, through the post office and maybe some other carriers do not make it quite on time. Private carriers are also overwhelmed. Last week, UPS healthcare president Wes Wheeler warned our Chris Van Cleve of potential holiday gift delays as the COVID-19 vaccine rolled out across the country. If it comes down to it, what gets priority? My Christmas gifts or the vaccine? The vaccines will get, they'll get the first priority on the aircraft, first priority on, 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 the, uh, on the package car when it goes to the final destination. If your package happens to be on that same truck, you're lucky. Uh, because it'll be uh, in the first priority package car going out from the gateway. Some shoppers are choosing to take matters into their own hands, with these long lines popping up in shopping malls as customers look to avoid any delays. There's some things you kind of want to get in your hands and look at and before you buy, you know, and you can't always do that all along. While others have been left without answers. This year it's been a disaster. The owners of Gracie's Doggy Delights in Watertown, Wisconsin, say they fear they've lost customers because of delays. I don't know what's causing the delays. I, I know they're being, you know, they have staffing issues. I know they're being jammed up on a lot of people ordering things, but they had to know this was coming. It sounds like you're, you're, you're very understanding that everyone's dealing with this and postal carriers are doing everything they can, but there are hiccups along the way. We just hope that people understand that's all. We, we know that the, the postal workers are, are working hard. We can see it in our own local carrier spaces. We get it. I understand. I'm not putting this on anybody. I just hope that somebody understands that on the other end that, that we got our stuff out and, and little patience will go a long way. Preach. Now, despite all of that, there are some companies still offering same-day delivery on millions of items today, for a price, that is. We're talking Amazon, Target, and Walmart prepared to deliver um, items that you may order here on Christmas Eve. So if you've really procrastinated, you've got some last-minute shopping to do, and you really want to test your patience and anxiety, Vlad, go for it. <laughs> Errol Barnett, my man, i got to give you props for maintaining that concentration. <laughs> during your tag with that noise, that white noise They're working. behind it's you. Busy. They're working. <laughs> well done, Errol That's Barnett. Right. Thank you very much for that.